So here we are in early March, and I was surprised as I kind of inspecting the outside and see how the ground, moles. Moles are already active, and that's because of the mild winter. Now, moles kind of semi-hibernate. They don't go into uh, full hibernation, so they don't actually leave your yard, but they become a lot less active, and there's no surface runs. They kind of burrow down under the frost line. Well, here it is, early March, and we have moles, and people are asking about how to get rid of their moles. So a lot of different things. One thing that's been around forever, get rid of the grubs. That doesn't work. Two thirds of the diet of a, a mole is earthworms. And if you get rid of the grubs, which you need to for other reasons, it just makes the mole work harder, all right? So that is not true. Juicy fruit gum, this is double, uh, double something, but uh, no. People swear by juicy fruit gum. You put it down in the hole, they choke on it or something. I don't think that works either. So uh, my, some people love these. This is a, uh, this uh, gives a vibration. You put three batteries in it, shove it in there, and it vibrates about every uh, two or three minutes. I don't think there's any science behind it, but we never argue with success. So a mole can actually, in one evening, create a 160 foot of tunnel, if you can believe that. So you may not have as many moles as you think. On average, it's supposed to be about two to three moles per acre. Yes, I know some of you got dozens of them. So I like these here, not for killing moles. This is, uh, but it says moles and gophers. So this is actually a little smoke bomb. And I'm just gonna light one off and we'll just see how this, this works. Not very well, evidently right now. All right, so now this thing's going and we'll see what happens. So this is the giant des destroyer smoke bomb. And what that's supposed to do is to fill the tunnel with smoke. Now, they don't really work but what they do is they create enough smoke that a lot of times after a long winter, your neighbor will come out to see what all the activity is. So, you know, that's not bad to kind of catch up with them. So you can kind of see it's, it's pouring through the tunnel there. Now, maybe, maybe we'll, we'll find a mole that'll stumble out coughing, but again, probably not. They're, they're okay for groundhogs, but not great for moles. So over here is probably the best thing. The way to take care of a mole is first of all, you gotta find the active run. So if you would press down the mole runs and then mark them. And the reason I'm using a flag is once again, cause your neighbors, because then they'll think something big is going on in your yard. So you could just use a little pinch of flour or something like that. So it, then you wait 24 hours, then you find out which one's been pulled back or pushed back up, then you know you have an active run and then that's where you wanna bait. So for most of us, using these worms, it's a little like little gummy worms and I, and I would have a glove on, take a doll rod and you just drop those down in there every few feet and you bait that run. Now, the other thing, traps are also They've become easier. This is an, you set it with your foot and traps can be very effective as well because a lot, a lot of people like to have, know they got the mole. With the worms, you just see less activity. So it's an early season and look at that. The neighbors are already coming out to talk. We'll probably have coffee and kind of catch up on things on a great Sunday. <laughs>